So a couple of days ago, I actually talked about the Jeffrey Epstein documents that were unsealed. Uh, there has been recent news that has been released in reference to Prince Andrew. Uh, so first I want to start with, uh, what some of the victims had to say about Prince Andrew. And then we're going to jump forward to present day and we're going to hear about what is happening in reference to the Royal family. Although Prince Andrew has no chance of actually, uh, conquering the throne. He's just not in line to do so. Obviously he would not be next in line, so it would never happen, but it appears there are some pretty, uh, damning acts that are taking place right now. Uh, where King Charles, I think, has just probably had it in reference to the Epstein information that's been released. Let's start off with this clip here from CNN, where you hear one of the victims again come forward about Prince Andrew, and then we'll get into what's happening today. The training started immediately. Everything down to how to be quiet, be subservient, give Jeffrey what he wants, and you know, before you know it, I'm being lent out to politicians and to academics. Years later, in a 2014 court document, one of the women, Virginia Roberts, who today goes by Virginia Jufre, claimed she had been an underage sex slave to Epstein, claiming he forced her to have sex with some of his powerful friends, including Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, once at an orgy on Epstein's island. She would have been 17 at the time. The prince emphatically denied all of it. In 2022, Prince Andrew settled with Jufre for an undisclosed amount, and a U.S. district judge agreed to dismiss her lawsuit against him. Weeks earlier, Buckingham Palace stripped him of his military titles and, according to a royal source, told him he could no longer use his royal highness in any official capacity. So I just wanted to play that for you there just as a reminder that they did actually decide to settle um, out of court with Jeffrey Epstein, or excuse me, with uh, Prince Andrew, but that was before these recent documents have been unsealed. And now it is putting the spotlight on the royal family once again, in words of what the hell are you guys going to do about Prince Andrew? And I want to say something before we get into this recent news uh, today. Um, I don't know if you have watched the show, The Crown, but I have. I've seen all of the seasons. And there is particularly one episode where they do focus a little bit on Prince Andrew, not much. But one of the topics of discussion is Prince Andrew sitting at the dinner table with the queen. And he is talking about dating girls that are way younger. Now they don't go into too many specifics, but it shows the queen pushing back and saying that she doesn't really think it's a good idea. But the point that I'm trying to bring to your attention is even in the crown, they alluded to it. It's probably one of the only episodes where they actually even give you a glimpse of Prince Andrew because they're usually focused on the other characters. But even in the crown, they alluded to it. The Royal family knows about this show. I didn't see the Royal family come out and speak out against that particular episode. So just keep that in mind. Now, this was released from the daily mail. It says that King Charles is preparing to stop paying for Prince Andrew's home security at Windsor Royal lodge as unsealed documents say the Duke of York enjoyed daily massages at Jeffrey Epstein's Palm Beach Lair. And another thing we have to highlight here are massages. Remember, Virginia, one of the girls came forward and said a lot of times when they use that word massage, that was actually a sexual act. So just remember that. Let's go down here. King Charles is preparing to stop paying for Prince Andrew's home security at the Royal Lodge. 
Pressure is mounting on the Duke of York as unsealing hundreds of pages of court documents connected to Jeffrey Epstein scandal continues apace. The latest tranche of papers, which have heaped fresh embarrassment on Andrew, claim the royal enjoyed daily massages. Again, we're going to do the quotes around massage because I told you what one of the victims said that really means and stayed in the blue room at Epstein's Palm Beach lair. Jelaine Maxwell also claimed there was a Prince Andrew puppet at Epstein's New York property after the Royal was accused of using it to grope a young woman. The Duke, who has consistently denied any wrongdoing, has also been accused of taking part in an underage, let's just say uh, free for all there, in a fresh blow to Andrew, the Telegraph has reported that he will have to fund the multi-million pound security costs at Royal Lodge himself if he wants to stay in the 30-room mansion in Windsor Great Park. Now, this may not mean a lot to us because we're not royal. I don't even live in the UK, but in the world of the royal family, in the world of the monarchy, this is actually a big deal because this is basically King Charles telling Prince Andrew, you're going to have to foot the bill yourself. Now, as someone who is royalty, he's not supposed to have to do that. So that move from King Charles, this is the first of moves. There could be more that follow. But that move from King Charles is actually significant in reference to the monarchy. Remember, it's a brand first. It's a family second. <laughs> let's just keep it real. So let's go down here. And then there's Epstein and Jelaine Maxwell. And it says pressure is mounting on Andrew as legal papers related connected to Jeffrey Epstein scandal continues to pace and it pictures there. And then you'll see here, it says the Duke will have to fund the multi-million pound security costs at the Royal Lodge himself. So that's the property you can see there. Let's go on. It says the move will be seen as the monarch distancing himself publicly from his younger brother who less than two weeks ago walked to church with the Royal family on Christmas day. Buckingham palace said it does not comment on security matters. Labor leader, sir, Keir Starmer, the former director of public prosecutions yesterday backed calls for Scotland yard to launch an investigation into the claims made about Andrew. Now, remember last time when police tried to serve Prince Andrew papers, they claimed they could not find him. I just showed you where he lives. I said back then that was an excuse. When the police want to find you, they'll find you. Okay. So there's that. Now, just keep this in mind because this is really important. Again, this is basically King Charles distancing himself from Prince Andrew, which I said when this information was first revealed back then, I said all of them should have done that. I didn't think Prince Andrew should have still been walking in parades with them, going to events with them. I said, you guys need to seriously distance from Prince Andrew. Again, if you go and watch The Crown and you see the episode, I have to look up which episode that is. You see the episode where the queen was trying to tell him back then that this was not a good idea for him to be going after those kind of girls. This has been going on for a long time. This is not something that just started a couple years ago. And I believe they knew. I don't think it was just the queen. I think they knew. And I think they didn't really know like, okay, what do we do? Or we've heard these rumors. Andrew, is this true? I don't think they really wanted to bring attention to it, but it came out anyway. New revelations from the unredacted legal paper show how Epstein's former housekeeper claimed Andrew had daily massages when he allegedly spent weeks at Epstein's Florida home. Juan Alessi, who worked at Epstein's Palm Beach residence, said both Andrew and his ex-wife, Sarah, Duchess of York, 
were friends with Epstein and now convicted sex trafficker Jelaine Maxwell. It comes after a source told the mirror that Charles has told his brother he won't be abandoned. Charles promised his late mother he would not abandon Andrew once she was gone. Now, why would he have to make that promise to the queen? Right, because this was already an issue before. And that remains the situation, unless, of course, he finds himself engaged in a criminal manner, they said. The Duke greeted well-wishers outside church in Sandringham, Norfolk, on December 25th, with Sarah back in the royal fold and at his side. But he was caught demanding to know why fans who had stood in the cold to see the royal family had their cameras on. But as the new year began, previous allegations, Andrew sexually assaulted Virginia three times when she was 17, including during an orgy resurface in newly published court documents. He strenuously denies the claims and in 2022 paid millions to Miss Guffrey to settle a civil case out of court saying he never met her. So again, just remember he paid her money. And I always said this before, you pay, you pay, you look guilty. And even if he didn't pay, I still would think that Andrew was guilty. Let's continue on here. And there's the picture. So again, this is the girl in the picture at the time. That's Virginia. That's Prince Andrew. And this is Jelaine Maxwell. So there's that. Now let's continue on. Let me address this because some people are just trolls. Uh, to for your UKR, but Sabby won't address, won't talk about Trump partying with Epstein. It's on vid. We've already covered that. We are focusing on the new information about Prince Andrew today. Stop being lazy and do some research. Moving on. So this is Virginia, that's Prince Andrew, and this is Jelaine Maxwell. So let's go on. Okay, and this is Prince Andrew, and this is Sarah here. Now that's his ex, they're not together anymore. And this gentleman here, this is Juan Alessi, all right? So he's the one that worked for Epstein as a housekeeper. The Metropolitan Police said no new investigation has been launched, but Mr. Starmer said where credible accusations are made, they should be investigated. Sir Keir said, I think whenever there's a complaint made, it's inevitable that it should be looked at. I mean, we have to start with the victims here and look at what allegations have been made. I've seen the headlines on this, not the detail, but frankly, whoever it is, where there are allegations, credible allegations made, then of course they should be looked at. Republic, the anti-monarchist group, reported the Duke of Scotland Yard and is calling for the accusations to be properly investigated in the UK. During his videotaped interview under oath in 2009, Mr. Alessi was questioned on the Duke's relationship with Maxwell and Epstein. Lawyer Catherine Ezel asked whether Andrew and Sarah ever had massages at the Florida home. Again, we have to remember when they use that word massage, what they're really talking about. Mr. Alessi rep replied, Prince Andrew did. I think Sarah was there only once and for a short time. I don't think she slept in there. I cannot remember. I think she was visiting Wellington and she came to the house and we met her. But Prince Andrew, yes, Prince Andrew spent weeks with us. Mrs. Azell then asked, where would he sleep? Mr. Alessi said in the main room, the main guest bedroom. That was the blue room. The lawyer then said, and so when he would come and stay during that time, would he frequently have massages? Mr. Alessi replied, I would say daily massages. Again, remember what she said about the word massage. I want to go into this clip here as well. 
King Charles will never allow Andrew back to royal life. Let's go to this part here. This is also from Talk TV. I'm going to scoot up just a little bit because she says shout out for something that has nothing to do with this. But let's go ahead and get into this clip as well. Josh, it's not going to be enough. What he's already done in removing the HRH and taking away his, you know, his ability to to, to host things and as a royal m member and going do, mm. doing work, I don't think that's going to feel like enough. I mean, but this this is the thing, and I I actually had this conversation on American television this week because they asked me, is the king supporting his brother almost because. You have to remember, yes, there's the public side of the monarchy, the crown, the institution, mm. but they are a family at the end of the day. And King Charles, he loves his brother. He loves his brother dearly. This is still a son of her late majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. So on one hand, you've got you've got a real kind of personal conflict here. You've got to put the crown first, the institution first. And as you said, there's not really, and as Charlie says, there's not much more that can be done as well. And actually, there's a very interesting story in the sun this morning how aides have said have told the sun specifically that the king will never again allow prince andrew to come back to royal life to fulfill any more royal duties and the it words odd that he let him so you hear that guys so that's basically king charles taking a stand and he's saying no i don't know look you got too much stuff going on and it's bad. Again, like you guys got to understand again, the monarchy, like it's, it's a brand. Like it's not just, yes, they're family members. Yes, that's his brother. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to protecting the monarchy and what works best for the monarchy as an institution. And then it's like the sound, the, the family part is second. One of the things I noticed too, and I've, I've read a lot about the royal family, but one of the things I've noticed as well is that Queen Elizabeth, because she became queen at such a young age and she just had to jump right into the job because her father died, right? They were not expecting him obviously to pass uh, when he did. So she was very young when she became queen. So she had to jump right into that position. But the thing is, she didn't really raise her children. She didn't really raise Charles and Andrew and all of them. You know, they had nannies that raised the kids. And that's another thing that is also mentioned throughout the crown is that there was this need, obviously, from her children to feel like they actually had a mother who was just their mom and not the queen. We'll play a little bit more here. Well, the Sandringham walk. No, though. but that's a pride. The thing is, okay, it, it could be a public occasion where they appear in public, but that is actually specifically know, a private engagement. Wrong. No, but it's the whole family, though. And bearing in mind, it, 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 they, they sent a real message by including uh, the the Duchess of York Fergie in that too, because that shows that they are united as a family first and foremost. But the story in the Sun today is really interesting because the aides have said that King Charles had to quote take the trash out and cause. So you hear that he had to take the trash out. Um, Orcs says UK legal age is sixteen. Yes, but these events happened in Florida. So it's not 16 in the United States. That's the thing. He has revealed that the, that the decision to never again allow Andrew to partake in any sort of royal duties, that was actually taken before King Charles ever went to the throne and there's, that came to the throne. And there's even more details because they say that King Charles, he found it very difficult. It was the hardest decision. He's his brother. He cares for them. No, 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 no. But, of but stuff like what, what it says is he knew it was the right thing to do. Someone had to take out the trash. And it's also been reported that at Christmas time, yes, they did the walkabouts together. But behind the scenes, it's been reported that Prince Andrew apparently was, quote, lurking and ready to pounce on his, quote, kind and generous brother, according to AIDS. However, AIDS kept them apart. He was not sat near the um, His Majesty the King at lunchtime. They were apparently not allowed any one-on-one -on -one time either. So... Well, so much for caring for your brother. Then. No, no, but, but the thing is, there's caring for for a brother on a private level, but then there's keeping the institution safe, and that is what King Charles yep. is 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 very much focused on doing. That part right there, keeping the institution safe. 
I wonder what else is going to come from this. I, I don't know. I mean, I think there's more information still being released, but I question what else will happen in reference to Prince Andrew, because again, the Royal family, they have a lot of skeletons in their closet that actually are no longer, some of them are no longer skeletons. If you watch the crown, <laughs> some of them are no longer skeletons. If you watch the crown, I'm just telling you. But again, it's all about protecting the institution first. And if that means that Andrew, they have to distance themselves from Andrew, then that's what they're going to do. If you haven't had a chance to do so, don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you very much.